Hey y'all, welcome back to Lightworks Intuitive Healing. I am your intuitive reader and healer here today to illuminate what the Most High wants to share with us. I hope that you all are having a blessed and positive day. If the content resonates with you, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. I would love to have you join the Lightwork family. So I'm just going to do a general energy check to see what it is that we should be aware of today. Uh, please keep in mind that I do not focus on the astrological signs or gender. Uh, we can all embody masculine and feminine energy, as well as the characteristics of all of the astrological signs. I prefer to focus on the message so that you don't get confused about who it could possibly be or any of those details. I think the Most High wants to just be sure that you receive the message and you will definitely know if it's a message for you. So let's go ahead and take a deep breath. Most High God, we thank you for another day. We thank you for your guidance, your love, your protection, and peace. Please allow me to channel the current energies for the collective. Let there be none of me and all of you. I pray that the message will come out precisely as you would have it to. Please allow Archangel Michael and Archangel Raphael to be present with us today. Archangel Michael, please protect our energy and close the door on anything that is not of the highest white light. Archangel Raphael, please continue to help us heal on our spiritual journey. Please and thank you. Okay, so what are we starting with? Okay. What should we be aware of today, Holy Spirit? Chakras. So there may need to be some alignment of your chakras or energy cleansing. significant we could be seeing those angel numbers if you are seeing angel numbers take note of what it is that you're doing when you see it and also uh, you can check the angel numbers online on Google Holy Spirit, what should we be aware of today, please, and thank you. What should we be aware of? Okay. The very first card to come out was Unhealed Souls. Spend time on your projects. Great wealth. Millionaire status. Rest. And loves to create conflict. Okay. So I'm getting two different messages to start with. 
Um, one, there is someone in your energy, or this could be you. I'm not sure if there are any cross watchers here. But there are some unhealed souls operating out of a low vibration that are trying to create conflict and chaos in your life. Um, the divine is urging uh, these individuals to stop, to cease and desist, I'm hearing, to give it a rest. In addition to that, you're being urged to spend more time on your projects and balance out work and, and play, work and rest. Because you are going to step into great wealth. You could be the first millionaire in your family. Uh, doing whatever this is that you're working on. Let's just put the deck on. I love you. So your angels and ancestors want you to know that they love you. And there could also be someone in your energy. Uh that loves you as well i'm hearing someone has an admirer I just saw passion as well so there could be someone that's very passionate about you and your energy what else holy spirit yeah this is a confirmation that someone is being uh guided towards working on the projects this one says invest more time on your projects so there may be some of you that have been taking too long of a rest and not working on your projects um stagnant came out as well so you may there may be an issue with some projections that are being sent your way that are throwing you off right now so you're being called to cleanse your energy and really take note and use discernment with who you're connecting with. Um, also, what you're intaking, I'm hearing. That could be content, music, television, videos, um, whatever it is that you're watching or reading or listening to or eating possibly it could be a host of things that's throwing you off but there's something in your energy someone that's projecting onto you right now causing a stagnancy in your creativity for some of you i'm hearing that you're overthinking whatever it is that you're trying to work on and also all things work together for you know when you are co-creating when you are allowing the divine the most high to work with you so these projects are these spiritual projects i'm hearing you're co-creating with the most high so if you find yourself in a place where you're stagnant, where you can't create, maybe take a rest and spend that time meditating, praying, and connecting with the Most High in your angels, ancestors, and spirit guides so that they can help guide you because it is a co-creation that you're working on. You're not doing it alone. This one says, we'll never admit the truth. This person tells a lot of lies that's in your energy. You may need to do some type of uh, cord cutting and cord removal, I'm hearing. For this energy, I'm hearing you will know. So you will definitely know who this person is that's connecting and trying to stir up conflict in your life. Let's 
see what's on the bottom. New Earth 5D. So you're going through a spiritual awakening right now and you're ascending. And I'm hearing a lot of the people in your energy or this person in particular. This could be several people for someone. They are trying to, to cause stagnancy in your life so that you're not able to ascend to reach this level of great wealth. So again, be very cautious about the people around you and be sure that you're cleansing your energy frequently and staying in prayer and meditation. Any more from this Holy Spirit? Yes. Well, I wanted to come out again, so New Earth 5D. Walk away. Believe in miracles. Showtime. See the good in all things. bottom of the deck touch not my anointed so this person or these people again have been advised to stop whatever this is that they're doing they receive signs one way or another from the most high or your ancestors and angels that you are not to be touch not to be harassed not to be uh, messed with so know that your angels and ancestors are handling this situation one more please holy spirit two more actually let's see that's too many i just saw meditate outdoors for answers so that's for someone you may need to connect with nature a bit more yeah, Mayat is in the building, Divine Justice. So, as I was saying, these people have been warned about bothering you, harassing you, stalking, or whatever it is that they're doing. So, Divine Justice is now at play. These people are being summoned to spiritual court. And when that happens, it, there are repercussions energetically and that is going to be tough for these people so I'm praying that they will allow you to live your life and move on with theirs and do the work to heal their soul so that they can also ascend with showtime and believe in miracles new earth 5d coming in you're going to step into a very beautiful new life. You're already in it, I'm hearing. But once you this get this stagnancy under control and really focus and co-create with the Most High, with your spirit guides, with your angels, and believe that miracles do happen, I'm hearing... Uh, Spend more time manifesting and release your attachment to the winds and hows and all of that as far as when the manifestations will come to fruition. 
just know, just visualize it being there. Just know that it's already happening and operate in a manner in which it already exists. That's what manifestation is about. See yourself in that situation and believe in miracles. For some of you, for someone, the most high is urging you to see the good in all things. Even through your stagnancy, there may have been a time period where you were able to really get more rest. Um, just try to find the positives in everything that you're going to. And I always talk about gratitude because there's something for us to be grateful for despite whatever it is that we're going through. So it's very important to show gratitude regularly. One more, please, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Holy Spirit. Manifestations are coming into your reality, so that's a confirmation for someone. Um, really spend more time with, with your manifestations. And once you do the work, whether it's through journaling or however you decide to speak it into existence, know that it's coming in without a shadow of a doubt. Don't don't be worried about when or how. Just know in your heart, in your mind, in your spirit that whatever it is you're manifesting is coming into your reality. It's going to happen. It's not by coincidence that I just spoke that and then it came right out after. So it's very important. And the bottom of the deck, time is up. So for these individuals, like I said, with divine justice being at play, the repercussions, this is, there's, there's no more time left for these people to, uh, to try to get it right. They're, they're out of time. And when divine justice is at play, there's just really nothing they can do. I feel as though the Most High has given many opportunities for these people to um, focus on their own ascension, focus on improving themselves and growing, and they did not take heed to those warnings. So let's get a little bit of information on that to see yeah attachment and man holding a heart so it could be someone that's obsessed with you yeah with the heart chakra coming up with Archangel Raphael maybe this was a person you were in a relationship with that can't get over it or Maybe there was a bad breakup and this person's, yeah, all tied up in strategy. So what I'm getting is that there's someone trying to hold you back from getting to this new earth, this new place of great wealth. This is a person that is no longer connected with you, strategy and contract. Let's see. Holy Spirit, what is the message, please? And thank you. What should we be aware of? Son, daughter, spirit. And to see, yeah. So yeah, this there's an energy of someone that sees that you're headed to the sun. A very happy place. with an overflow of abundance, joy, peace. And they see that you're on this spiritual journey with the door to spirit here. But this person is deceitful. Like I said, will never admit their lies, trying to cause chaos and conflict. And they want to they want you to operate out of a low vibration. They want to get you off your path. That, that's why they're trying to cause stagnancy by projecting.